All right, so Weedy Guitar Studios giveaway guitar is pretty much done. Not much more I can do with it. Polish it up and get it uh, boxed up and shipped back to them. Sounds pretty good. Clean channel uh, with a little bit of reverb and some delay on it. Sounds nice. Um, with distortion, yeah, I like distortion. So it's got a little bit of a buzz to it, but it's you know single coils. What do you expect? The Wilkinson's M series aren't bad. They sound pretty good. Uh, the tone controls uh, for them. Uh, gives a good range of you know variety of tone uh you have a five-way selector switch on there and uh so you can choose you know whichever pickup however style you want to play and then being that it is you know the strat style of pickups you know you can still have that strat sound as well hopefully i can't do it but somebody out there could so let's recap a little bit of what was going on with this thing and kind of what i did to it all right, so we have an aerial shot of Weedy Guitar Studios giveaway guitar. And I'm going to kind of go over everything that has been done to this guitar, what's been replaced, what's been worked on. Um, so when I got the guitar, it, it was kind of dirty. It was used guitar. It wasn't nasty dirty, but uh, it was dirty. Um, it had some stickers on it. it. had a lot of chips, well, quite a few chips, uh, mostly scratches and... Um, really deep scuff marks into the clear coat, which I was able to remove a lot of it and fix the chips. But if you see maybe, uh, you know, something going on, like a, like right here is a little thing. It looks like a piece of hair, but it's not. Um, that's really deep into the finish. If I try to sand that out, I'm going to go through the clear and I'm going to end up re having to re-clear this whole thing. And right now with the situation of the weather-wise garage situation, um, there's no way that I can do a spring in the garage right now. So when I first got the guitar, uh, unboxed it, found that there was a twist in the neck over here starting from the fifth fret up. Uh, use the steam and uh, heat trick to remove that. So far, it has not come back. It's been uh, more than like a day now, or two days now since um, I got the strings on here and everything. And uh, it seems like that's holding up pretty good. I did a fret leveling job, crowning, polishing, and cleaning the ends of the frets, you know, making sure that they're not sharp. And it seems like on a lot of guitars, even some of the higher end ones, this lower part of the neck always kind of gets missed. You know, it's gonna, it gets neglected a little bit. And I'm kind of wondering if because it's attached to the body, it's a little harder to finish these frets on the ends uh, a lot better than, you know, what it could have been done. So that's all taken care of. The fret ends are done. Um, there was no nut on this guitar, so I had to make one. And after doing my last video and stringing it up and, and uh, kind of looking at the spacing on each side of the neck over here, and it just didn't look right to me. It just looked like there was the nut, um, nut was kind of over one side. It actually wasn't the nut. It was to how I spaced the strings on the nut. That wasn't correct. So I could have left it. It was functional. Um, it just didn't look right. So me being me, I popped the old nut off and made a new one. I could have shifted it and not over to one side, but that would have left a little bit of a gap either on either side of the nut between the uh, neck and the nut itself. I didn't want that. You know, I don't like half-assing shit. So I just made a totally new nut. So lubricated bone nut. Um, tuners on this thing are fine. Uh, I just cleaned them up a little bit, polished them. The string trees, you know, they're functional. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, the tuners on this thing, they did, it's been holding a tune. Um, other than the strings stretching a little bit, so I've been able having to readjust for that. Uh, the body, okay. Like I said, the body was in pretty bad shape um, between the scratches and scuffs, and there was kind of like it was dragged along the edge over here. So that a lot of that has been taken care of. Like I said, there may be a few things you might see in the finish. It's a used guitar. I worked with what I had. There's not much I could have done about it. Um, it was missing a saddle on the bridge. There was nothing wrong with the bridge plate, the uh, block and everything that's on here. So I replaced just the saddles themselves. I replaced all of them with new ones. I don't have a whammy bar for this thing. So if Weedy's got one, you know, he'll provide it when he give, does his contest. 
The output jack is the original uh, plate and original plug itself. There was nothing wrong with it. I ended up doing a little bit of cleaning on there and uh, you know that's working fine with no wiggling and cutting in and out. The original pickguard that came with this thing was pretty cheap. Okay, so the pickups were Chinese uh, single coils, cheap pots, uh, cheap uh, tone cap. So I replaced it with a loaded pickguard, uh, Wilkinson's M series. I don't know what the M series stands for as far as the type of quality that the, the Wilkinsons are. Wilkinsons aren't a bad name, so that's why I installed them in the side here. And I got a good deal on the whole pickguard brand new. So it's loaded and five-way selector switch. You got your volume and tone tone. And it's it's not bad. It doesn't sound bad at all. Uh distor high distortion, you're gonna get noise. They're single coils. What do you you know? Noise gate. Not much you can do about that. I shielded the inside of the cavity underneath the pick guard. Uh the back of the pick guard is also shielded as well, so that was taken care of. Uh, wiring is pretty basic on this thing, so it, there was nothing fancy that I had to do. Just solder up to the output jack and to the claw that's on the back of this thing for the tremolo. That was about it. The major part of it was uh, the way the guitar looks right now, as far as the striping goes. That was kind of, you know, what am I going to do with it? It's got a maple neck with a little bit of figuring in, in, in the fretboard. Um, it looks pretty good. Uh, I did not refinish the fretboard at all or the neck. Um, but I just didn't want it just to be black. All right. I wanted it to, to pop a little bit, have a little bit of, uh, class to it or character or whatever you want to call it. So what I ended up doing is an old trick that, uh, my father used to do years ago on motorcycles, gas tanks, and fenders, not so much on cars. Cause it would be, you know, a lot of work to do something like this on, on a car. Um, but a little trick that uh, we used to do, and we used to do it a little bit differently, but I kind of figured, well, sandpaper and, you know, very, very low, uh, low grit will give me the same effect that, uh, you know, this is going to give me. So what I ended up doing is I sanded the body down, fixed some of the flaws that were in it, and then polished up by hand the body, and then ended up masking it off to give this striping effect. So I got it on the back as well. And then I had to find a back plate, a back cover for the uh, tremolo. And I did not have a uh, neck plate for this thing. I thought I did. So the only one sticker that's on here left and it says awesome. And it's got a picture of uh, Batman on it. So I think that's about it. Uh, Everything that's been done with this thing. I polished all the screws that were around the pickguard. There was some oxidation on them. Uh, that was part of the reason I wanted to replace the uh, electronics on this thing was because the old pickups had a little bit of oxidation and rust on the uh, pull pieces. And I really didn't feel like having to polish, you know, each one of those up by hand. When I do like screws, when I polish up a screw or something, I stick the threaded part inside of a chuck of a drill. I use a rag with my uh, McGuire or mother's uh, uh, polish, put a little bit on the rag, put it on top of the screw, turn the drill on, and let the drill do the work for me with the polish, and then wipe off the excess afterwards, and it gives me a nice brand new head of a screw. So I did that with all the screws that are on this thing. And... Uh, yeah so that's about it i guess so i want to say good luck to whoever wins this guitar from weedy guitar studios uh i know he has a plan as far as how he wants to do his contests and everything else which is perfectly fine it's all up to him and uh you know good luck everyone who uh jumps in on this it's not a bad guitar it's not a high-end guitar but it's not a bad guitar at all so you guys take it easy. Have a good one. Thanks for following this. Weedy, thanks for letting me work on your guitar to get it ready for your contest. And uh, I'll be shipping this thing back to you soon. So take care. Oh, and I hope you like bubble wrap.